Michael, you get you get your sixth year back. I mean, what were the, the decisions of, of coming back to UCF here? Uh, it was a no-brainer for me, um, especially we did last year the, with the 13-0 season. Um, I couldn't leave those guys, and I had no other idea of going anywhere else. College football, the best four years of a student athlete's life. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're Michael Clubiali. You're here for a six year. Not many people can say they played college football for six years. Well, I came back in April for the spring game, and I was talking to some of the players on the sideline, McKenzie and all of them, and they were kind of like, oh, there's a new rule that came out, and I talked to some of the trainers, and everything kind of fell into place from there, and I'm glad to be back. However, it was more than just the love for the game that pulled Michael into being a knight. Just a little over 50 miles away, Michael's parents, Steve and Judy, have bled black and gold since the beginning of the football program. I graduated from Mainland High School here in Daytona, and um, I played football there, and um, I had some letters to go out west, but I had just recently moved down from Pennsylvania, kind of liked the area, didn't want to move far. So I found the school called UCF in Orlando, they had a great engineering program and they had a football team, two key things I was looking for. So um, I did apply for, I had to put my application in, got accepted at the school and quickly uh, found the head coach of the football team and knocked on his door and told him I wanted to play football. So that's how it all started. I've always been an, the athlete in the family and my dad was the athlete as well. He played college football, that's what I always wanted to do and I always aspired to be like him and when I finally came to UCF it was kind of surreal at first because my dad actually played here too and um, yes he was, he was my biggest role model growing up. Michael knew ever since his Pop Warner days that he was meant to be a knight and followed in his dad's footsteps. When I was like first starting to play football I think the first flag football team I played on was the Knights and it was kind of cool my dad was my coach and he played at UCF and I, I think that's when I knew I wanted to come here and, and play at the highest level of football and that's always something I worked for every single day when I was playing Pop Warner and through high school and when I got the opportunity to walk on here, it wasn't a scholarship, but I knew uh, that I was going to work my tail off and eventually have a role on, on, on the team here. He always wanted to play where I think his dad played and he did have a lot of offers up north and stuff he did not want to leave. He wanted to try to go where his dad played and we were really thrilled about that actually. Michael and his dad, Steve, even had similar paths to becoming contributors for the Knights. Yeah, being a walk-on, and you start from ground zero. Michael started on the scout team, very similar to what I did. You just, you just got to prove yourself every single day. Football brings out a lot of core values that are great, um, you know, in everyday life. I mean, just working hard and discipline, um, perseverance. I mean, all those things, just working hard every single day, every play while you're out there, and, and hopefully you get the opportunity to, to work through and, and get to a starting position. So I guess the fourth game in the season, we were playing Savannah State. They were struggling with the running backs a little bit and totally unexpected to me. Uh, Don Jonas put me in on the second half, and from that point on, I was a starter. The biggest advice he gave me was just go out every day and, and prove yourself because you're at the bottom of the food chain really and uh, you have to work your way up to the top and just I, it really helped me develop a strong work ethic I think and finally it's paid off when I got a full ride scholarship so uh, it kind of uh, was cool because especially knowing where UCF came from and how they played the Citrus Bowl and then they finally came here on campus stadium in front of like 45,000 people. It's kind of it's kind of different for him to, to come out here. He started it though. He was one of the first UCF Knight football programs they had here. So kind of seeing how the program is built and how I'm following in his footsteps. And I think he's proud of how where the pro program's gone, how far I've gone to. While Michael hopes to carry on the legacy of the Cubs nickname his sixth year, he won't be the last Cubs to wear the Knights uniform. Younger cousin Jason Clubiale is following the family tradition. Well, first I went to a D2 school in Pennsylvania. It's called Mercyhurst University. And I played there my first year, got a couple of reps and games. I just wasn't happy there. I miss my family, I miss just Florida in general. So I was looking at other options and Michael told me he can get me at UCF. And then that was the seal breaker for me. I just had to go there. So I got here in January. And then literally my second week here, I tore my ACL running a route. 
So from here on out, I've been just recovering and just watching. And then last week I got cleared to play. So now I'm on the practice field with Michael, with all the other boys on the team. And how cool is it to get to be on the same team as him this year? Because I'm sure it's your older cousin. You've probably looked up to him and him playing your whole life. So how cool is it that you now get to be on the same team as him? It's pretty cool. I've always wanted to be like him. I've always just admired him and how he plays. Now being on the same field is just amazing. Just watching him, see what he does on the field, it just makes me want to do it, but better. I want to be better than him because everyone loves him. He has the name Koob here, but that's been my name for the longest time. So once he leaves, I'll be able to be called Koob. All family competitiveness aside, Michael and Jason look forward to carrying on the Kalubiale legacy. I talked to Jason first, and he was saying he looks up to Michael, and he hopes to carry on the Koob's name. Yeah. And <laughs> Michael looked up to you and wanted to carry on the Koob's name. So what does that mean that they're wanting to carry on that legacy at UCF? That's just awesome. It just makes you feel good. It gives you kind of chill bumps. You know, it's just, you're very proud. Both of them are great kids, and, and I hope they're, you know, Jason is just as successful as Michael is, you know, is right now. So, yeah, it's just great. I feel like they're experiencing the best of everything. They, they, I feel like I'm, I'm, I feel blessed for them that they are experiencing, first of all, my son is experiencing a lifelong dream. He's always wanted to play college ball, and he's living that dream. So we're really proud of him to join that, and just it's just amazing. I don't even know what to say before I get emotional about it, but I'm very happy that he's he's living his dream.